Hello and welcome back to a brand new episode of Hemingcraft Amplified and today you can tell that I am nowhere. Well, I'm, no, I'm nowhere near where I usually start. I'm either at Hermit Thrills or my own base and today I've decided to have a bit of a change. Now there are multiple changes you can see in this video other than just being at Biffa's base. You might be able to notice it if you look closely. I look a bit derpy and a bit weird today but you will see what that all means in a moment. But, um, yeah, so, uh, you guys know that Biffer is doing the head games, you know, he really wants, uh, some, uh, player skulls for his museum, I believe he wants to put them up there in that little box over there, and he wants to collect basically all of the hermit's heads. Now, if you guys don't know already, um, it only drops if a player kills you, so he's basically going around killing people. Now, Azuma's just left, which isn't exactly helpful, because I think Momo's the only one that is still on the line at the moment. Uh, which might make it a little bit harder, at least I have to, you know, travel maybe a bit further to uh, do what I want to do in a second. But, um, yeah, I thought, you know what, this is in need of a prank. Now, he tried to kill me, which is just mean. He tried to kill me. It literally maybe took like an hour, probably a little bit more, actually. The whole, like, that whole episode of Biffa trying to kill me. Like, you know, he had first he had to try and find me, so it actually took him longer in that episode. But, like, it, we were having a fight for, like, an hour or something. It was, like, <laughs> it was actually ridiculous how long the whole event was. And we both kind of cut it down to about 20, 30 minutes, which was quite, which was quite funny. Um, and, I don't know. I mean, no, I mean, it, to it totally wasn't funny, guys. It was totally mean and inappropriate, and therefore he needs to be pranked. So, you know what? I thought I would do a nice prank, and I would actually give Biffa my skull. But, uh, maybe... Maybe we'll add a little twist to this, so um, I'm going to go off into the nether to get my things, and uh, yeah, then we'll get started. Okay, so what we're going to be doing first is building something for Biffa. Now, there are multiple layers to this prank, but I thought, you know what, they're all going to be gifts. So the first thing is building a player skull right here. It's not going to be a normal player skull because that would just be silly, I don't want to basically give him my, my head straight away because that would just be you know cheating cheating biff has to come and kill me properly to uh to be able to display up there but um yeah i thought you know what we'll troll in by building i don't know what should we build it up there that could be kind of funny um i don't know which 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 way here or there oh i really need to think about that now because it could be kind of fun because i know that's exactly the one he wants to put it in and i think if i just float it right in the middle there oh that that could be pretty cool actually you know what we're going to build it up there, make it a bit more difficult for ourselves and a little bit harder to, to actually, you know what, I was going to say, if he logs on, it's going to be very, very obvious either way. And uh, Biffa has been logging on the last couple of days. Now, I've been on the last couple of days recording and, and doing things and just getting on with some work, but um, but yeah, he's been logging on quite a lot, so I'm a bit worried that he's going to be logging on at some point. Only Mumbo's on right now. And it's afternoon in the UK on a Friday, so um, yeah, that's about the time that Biffa will log on, and that just worried me there, that, that little server saved the world thing popping up. Um, so I'm going to have to be very, very careful indeed. Maybe if he logs on, maybe I'll just log off and leave it half built? Maybe, I don't know, I really don't know how I'm going to do anything. Um, or maybe we'll just build, I don't know, I'm thinking if we build like just a dirt front on it, then maybe he won't notice it as much. I don't know, or at least it won't be super obvious unless he teleports up there. Anyway, I'm going to steal some ender bells from him, which I'm sure is fine. Um, and uh, yeah, we're going to start building this thing. So I've got all the materials I believe I need on me right now. All of these these, these things right here, and uh, we're going to be building it up there, I think. So I'm going to get up there. We might time lapse this thing, or I'll show you guys how to build it. And uh, yeah, we need to get all up there. Oh my god, it's so... So tall, let's see if we can actually end the bell quickly. That's probably not the best way up. 
In fact, that could work. Please, please, no, wrong way, but okay, you know what? That is not bad, we can probably do this. Perfect. I just wish I'd bought some, uh, some dirt up so I could have put it here. Dang it, back down again we go, guys. Back down again. Dang it. <laughs> okay, so the platform is complete, which is very, very helpful indeed. It's gonna save us a whole bunch of time and space and everything. It's just gonna save us so much time. Um, but what we're gonna do is actually, you know what? This is where I was gonna put the lips, like, of my skin. Like, you can see those little bits, uh, pink bits down the bottom. Um, this is where I was gonna put them. Um, but then when I get rid of this dirt, it's just gonna be hanging at the bottom. So I want it to kind of float in the middle of this box. So we're gonna probably do a little bit of counting, uh, which is apparently everyone's favorite thing in streams. Counting with forks is apparently a thing. Uh, because I count blocks quite a lot. Obviously when you're building, you have to count, like, you know, and try and find the middle. The middle block is actually this one here. But because obviously it is gonna be an even number rather than an odd number, uh, we're gonna have a bit of an issue there. But it doesn't matter too much because down there, the angle that you're at, we're gonna be able to see it from um, a different a different way, it doesn't matter too much. But anyway, um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a time lapse over here so we can get this thing done as soon as possible. And um, yeah, I'm excited by this. I think Biffa maybe won't even notice it straight away, I think, which would be kind of fun. And um, yeah, I think we better get on with this thing before Biffa logs on. Okay, you guys, so this is it. That is the giant skull that I'm going to be leaving in Biffa Space right there. I've even added the little cracked goggle, um, which is a really, really cool little uh, addition, I think, there. And uh, the other goggle's fine. And I think that looks really, really awesome. I don't know if you'll be able to actually see it from this angle. I think you're probably going to be able to see it best from down here, but... It looks pretty amazing from down here as well. Now, I just want to point out that there was going to be something else with this prank, which I might still do. I need, basically, um, Mumbo to kill me, or at least someone on the server to kill me. Now, if you look at my skin down here, um, I'm going to take my helmet off real quick and change uh, my, my head, basically. Um, if we zoom in, actually, uh, let's go over and say hello to me uh, on there. And um, if I turn on the hat in the settings, you will see that I basically have a Biffa mask on, which I think looks epic. And uh, I want to thank one of my patrons, I think it was Burkeed, that uh, put this skin together. Uh, basically put a Biffa mask on, because obviously you know I have free skulls, so I decided to make one into a mask. But um, yeah, I thought it would look pretty cool, and I would get someone to kill me, and I would add this in there. But... We have someone that wanted to spoil this whole prank, which is great, guys. Like, if you honestly, honestly, guys, if you see that someone has changed their skin for whatever reason, and you might be something to do with the prank, which, I mean, this is kind of obvious that it's something to do with the prank or something, and that Biffa doesn't know, please do not tweet him saying that I have changed my skin. Because someone has just done that, and basically, Biffa saw it, and yeah... So, thanks, thanks, dude, whoever you are that spoiled the, the, the whole skin head thing. It just, ah, I don't know why I spend time doing these things to have it all spoiled. So, thank you very much for doing that. 
Um, that really, really made my day, so thank you very much for that. Uh, but anyway, we're not gonna let it ruin this. We're still gonna maybe get Momo to uh, kill me if he's around still in a second. Uh, we're gonna have to go find his base or something, I think. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go do that. Uh, we're gonna add that in there. And we're also going to add a, a little present as well for Biffa in there as well, uh, which I've got down in a chest down over there by the portal. But anyway, uh, we better get going and uh, let's get going this thing. Okay, so phase two of this prank, we've got different like uh, different phases and different things uh, that are going on. But we're going to be heading over to Mumbo's now. Now, as you can see, I have absolutely nothing on me. I've got my silly little... Like this, this skin looks ridiculous without the hat on. Actually looks completely just ridiculous. I don't even know what is going on here. And I don't actually know if Mumbo's even... He's pretty busy. I might have to wait for him. He's got his camera account on, which is a bit a worrying thing. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, uh, we're gonna be over here, and I'm just fingers crossed that the skull thing is gonna work, because I really do not know if it's gonna work, but, uh, this is the terpiest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Why does my hair look so giant as well? It's like right, I'm wearing my own skull, it's absolutely hilarious. Oh my god, I don't even, I don't even like it, it's just dreadful. But, um, anyway, we're gonna be heading over here, so he's got a very, very long track ride, but we've got enough food and a few ender poles as well. I'm gonna see if I can set my spawn over there, because hopefully it's gonna be still night time, uh, when we get there. Um, otherwise I might have to wait for a whole Minecraft day over here, which wouldn't be surprising, since this whole prank so far has taken way longer than expected. I literally had, like, not enough wool, not enough yellow wool for my hair in, uh, Biffa's thing. So I had to go back and forth to my own base to go and get some more wool, which is a massive pain in the butt. But uh, we got it finished, and at least now if Biffa logs on, he will, uh, I mean, he'll be okay. But at least, well, I mean, he knows what's going on now. Oh, wasn't there a rabbit there? Was that, was it there or was it elsewhere? Maybe it was through here. Maybe it was over there. Maybe it is over here. Yeah, it's over here. Uh, we're very, very close now. But, um, yeah, so, uh, hopefully Biffa doesn't log on. But um, I guess at least part of it's were already, which which sucks. But uh, we're gonna go through and we're gonna make this thing even better. Okay, so as you can tell probably by the fact that I'm in a beacon, I'm in that Mumbo's base right now, and I can see him. He's down there. He's over there, and um, hopefully he knows that I'm not gonna be armed or anything like that. Um, let me sleep real quick. Let me sleep. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> let me sleep. <laughs> I should have done that while I was up here. Um, sorry, I had to start that really quickly. Oh my god, he had the sword out and everything. He was totally ready to kill me right there, which is, which is not so much fun. Um, uh, I think he's got a bed over here. I believe. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Um, also, I still got my. Uh, I've taken the. I don't know whether or not when he kills me now that the front won't maybe show. I don't know. I think. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll put the hat back on, just in case. Uh, we'll make it daytime as well, why not? Unless he needs it nighttime. I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters. So let's, um... <laughs> just a little dance while I got Mumbo's, uh, Biffa's head on, even. Um, there we are. And... Thank you very much. Um... <laughs> That's the best thing <laughs> This is the best thing ever, oh my god. <laughs> nice nice face. Thank you very much, Mumbo. I did I kill a j Why do I What even I don't why have I got eggs on me? I don't I don't actually know. I actually do Did did he kill someone? I'm very confused. Oh no, I'm picking them up from here. I didn't even know Okay, well I've got three eggs, which is nice. Um I said Oh, I already said thank you. Cool. Well, back to our base, and uh, we're gonna leave a little present for Biffa, I think. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be fun. Okay, so I am in my uh, massive skull now, which is a bit odd. Like it looks really, really derpy in here. I've put some torches so that mobs don't spawn, and uh, lit, uh, just a couple on top as well, just so that things don't mess up. And uh, we can get out of there. It's a bit awkward, but that's all fine. But here we are, the giant head of me, and also. As you can tell, probably, we've got our old skin back, yeah! And, um, yeah, I was just thinking about this prank, and I believe that's kind of all I can do. The prank was going to be much, much bigger, and, in my opinion, better, but because Biffa knows already about this thing, um, which <laughs> looks hilarious, by the way, I cannot do that, sadly, because I, I, I don't want to explain it, just in case I 
try and or plan to do something similar in the future. I don't want to give my prank ideas away. But anyway, this thing looks epic and I've left it there. So this this sign says, well, you did want my skull. So, well, that is my skull, technically. It's not quite the same. Um, it's got Biff's face at the front, which I thought was quite funny. Um, yeah. And um, also, just for future, uh, just for use in the future, because if you guys uh, watched my mine and Biffa's fight, um, he mentioned that he was wearing his iron armor of shame. So I got him some actual iron armor of shame. <laughs> I thought that would be quite funny for him to actually wear that stuff there for when he comes back and um, comes to collect his stuff from when uh, another hermit or myself uh, kills him, uh, which would be quite funny. And, um, yeah, I just thought that would be hilarious for him to actually have ha actually, like, actual iron armor for that specific reason. Um, but yeah, I did actually remove this little line across here because it was just kind of blocking the face. I was going to have it blocking the face that it was in there, but I don't know, it looks pretty epic. But anyway, let's take one last step back. I've actually got an extra skull for me. I've got my mid can we twice, um, <laughs> which I'm sure he enjoyed, um... And, uh, dude, mama has got a um, pretty amazing cape as well. I just realised he's got, like, a, a suit on the back of his cape, so I might have to try and get myself a cape at some point. I didn't... I wasn't quite sure about, you know, about having a cape for a while, because, like, when you're PvPing and you're in F5 mode, uh, you can see it and it might get in the way. I don't know. I wasn't quite sure, though. So if anyone knows, let me know. If you've got a cape and, you know, you've done PvP, uh, let me know. But there we are. There is my giant head. I could have made it bigger, I guess, but I like, actually, that it fits... It fits quite perfectly in there. I mean, there's room for other hermit's heads as well. They can, he can probably even just just put them on top of my head, <laughs> just balance them on top. Um, I thought that could be quite funny. But anyway, that is cool. That is a nice little prank there. Not too bad to clear up either. I'm sure Biffa doesn't mind clearing that up um, at some point in the near future. But I'm watching over him. I'm watching over you, Biffa. I'm watching. I can see when you're going to come for me. I can see. I've got a little camera up there, just watching. Watching your every move. So anyway, that is it, guys, sadly, for the prank. As I said, it would have been bigger and better. But, um, yeah, things don't always go to plan, guys. And that's completely fine. Um, it just sucks a little bit because uh, my plan, I thought, was pretty good. But um, Biffa's base, look at it, it's amazing. So if you haven't gone and watched his videos, go and check them out. Link's in the description, as always, for whenever I collab with anyone. Um, or just do pranks, I guess, as well. Um, and definitely go check it out. And, um, yeah, guys, that is pretty awesome. I'm so excited by, uh, by that, and I want to know what Biffa thinks. Um, hopefully the skull thing doesn't spoil it too much, but, um, there we are. That is the prank for today. Leave a like if you have enjoyed, and subscribe if you haven't already. But that is it, guys. Thank you ever so much for watching. You've been awesome. I've been false. And I should catch you guys next time. See ya!